working on the install for the um, receiver and speakers and all that stuff. So, you know, I ran these wires, pre-wired this so that I had a nice, easy connection when it was time to hook this stuff up. You know, I have, I realized I really only have one source out here that I'm going to be using. I'm not going to do, I'm not going to worry about getting cable out here because I'll never really watch anything. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I haven't figured it out yet, how to get Wi-Fi this far out. Um, so I'm going to get, i got to get Wi-Fi connected. I'm going to have Apple TV. And then... Basically, that's it. So I'll have music. I'll have everything but cable, basically. I'm also not putting the Blu-ray player that I have. I'm not putting that back out here either. I think about having 2x6 construction. You get to shove this crap right back in the wall. There's tons of room. Still, as you can tell, I still don't have lights. Lights will be here in a couple of days. Lights will be here Monday, so you better believe I'll be out here installing those. And I have a Marantz receiver you know, with HDMI switching and everything that I've been using out in the garage, but I'm gonna swap that for this older Yamaha because I don't need switching, I only have one source. I'm going to use this Yamaha receiver. I think this thing sounds better than the Marantz does. I was using the Marantz as a preamp. Actually, I'm going to plug this into the Monster Power Center. Um, so I actually think this old Yamaha sounds better. This is the old RXV 1200, no, RXV 800. I think this is all 100, 100 watts per channel, something like that. Anyway, hooking up stuff like this has always been a, a love of mine. You know, when I sold home theater, a lot of times I would go out and hook up or, you know, install a, a TV or something just to stay, stay current, stay fresh, just for, just for fun. You know, some people see the back of a panel of a receiver and they start to they start to trip out. This is the front right. I see the back of it and I'm like, oh wait, that's a surround. This is front right. I see the back of it and it just makes sense. I'm sure most of you guys that are watching this too. It's just the logical flow of how the signal needs to travel. But like my wife, she looks at the back of this thing. She, she just doesn't, it just doesn't register. Zip ties are one of my favorite things. Keeps everything nice and organized. So I don't want to tie the sub cable up too tightly. So what I did was I took all the stuff out of the trailer and just kind of put it somewhere in here. Took all the stuff out of the trailer and just kind of stuck it in here. And then as time goes on, I'll go and just sort of reorganize. Now, remember I have everything that I had in my garage in here for now until I build, build the real garage. So, you know, I guess the same principle holds true. This, you know, black is going to show everything where the silver, you couldn't see any dirt. So this is an old HTS 5000. 
<laughs> line conditioner monster monster power center um, obviously not necessary for this but I have three of them back from my home theater days and so I might as well use it because I got a new Furman Furman line conditioner you know voltage it's, it's not a voltage stabilizer but a you know clean power center whatever the heck you want to call it um, I got a new one for the sort of more modern one for the home theater so the Yamaha power cord around plug it into the back of the monster power center and I'll figure out the best way to tie it up have a lot of slack. <laughs> I don't want a lot of slack. So then theoretically I'll have a one of these out here, a um, some sort of Wi-Fi, like a Apple Airport Express or something. And then I have Apple TV. Let me just get this plugged in. DVD. They didn't have Apple TV when this thing came out. It still works. Off to a good start. Bring my HDMI around. Hopefully my HDMI survived. You know, the natural tendency is just to tuck the wires back there, but I like them. I like to know that they're zip tied and clean. There we go. So that looks pretty good. Then I'll have to add my optical cable and then a Bluetooth adapter when I get that. Come see Daddy. Come over here. Can you wave to everybody? Wave to the camera. Say hi, everybody. They don't get big. Big, big tail.